Hello all, welcome. Rated Art Tarot, your girl highly in tune. I welcome you all to my space. There will be trigger moments and everything will not resonate. So take what resonate and leave the rest for whoever else. Flip and switch the situation however pertains to you in your life. He can be a she, she could be a he. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. What's up, Taurus? Hello, everyone. How all is doing? What is the overall energy here for Taurus right now? What does Taurus need to know and be aware of? Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's the messages here for Taurus today? What's the overall energy for Taurus? What Taurus need to know? All right. No limits. Nothing can stop them. Continues on without restrictions. Going their own way. So, I got a feeling you got somebody in your energy that's not going to leave you alone. Tell me one more overall energy here. This person wants control. Whoever this is that just will, will not stop, okay? They not going to go nowhere. I mean, this person can go away for like a day and come right back. Like y'all can break up and get right back together again. Or this could be kids or family or whatever this is. But... They not gonna they gonna continue to do what they want to do. They want to not only control you but everything else going on in their life, situations, etc. Constantly in control of people, things, and in their life, and they just they stalk you and project things on you. Say everything's your damn fault. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is a narcissist. That's a gold digger, okay? They just want it, want what you got. This person is toxic towards an earth angel, all right? So you could be this earth angel in this toxic ass connection, or you were in a toxic connection, you know what I'm saying? And you were the one that was giving and nurturing, and you know? But you see the truth now that this person is intimidated by you. They're jealous of you. So you put a distance with this person because they didn't want to do the work. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, energetically. Shit, what? Financially, foodly. I mean, setting the table of nothing. Now this person jealous of you because you're going on your way. You know your purpose in life. What the fuck? Shit. I don't know, Taurus. But this is talking about somebody that's not going to stop doing what they want to do because they want control. Cloud nine, always under the influence. Give me one more with cloud nine here for Taurus. This turn, turned in reverse. They don't love they self. This person has not took the time out to love they self. That's why they continue to betray you. And look, they don't even want to break up. I ain't even do nothing to these cards. They don't want to divorce you. They don't want to sever ties. But they continue to betray you. <laughs> they see you somebody out here with inspiration. Like, you know, you, you help them. You guide them. You give them motherfucking shit that they need, you know, to move forward in their life in certain situations towards you're not only a role model to the people around you, but you're also a role model to this person, and they crying, because they need you, they need you to give them some advice, yeah, they need you to give them some of that good advice that you got going on, shit, this person always on cloud nine somewhere, always stuck somewhere in a cloud, Okay, just lost. What's this uh, message here? Break up that. What Taurus needs to know here and be aware of? <clears throat> I don't know. Just a breakup or some sort of same love, I guess. <laughs> Today, I just wanted to just let the cards spew out what they wanted to spew out. You know, Taurus. Four minutes. Right, so this is somebody that's not going to stop doing what they want to do. Not going to stop fucking with you. They want to control you too. They always under the influence and they don't love themselves. They don't even know how to start by loving themselves because they won't even listen to you to, for you to even help them. Encourage them or anything. So what's the message that's here for Taurus? Yeah, well somebody's dating. Da, 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 da. And they haunted. They coming back. They didn't have flings and rebounds and fantasies, and they still want you, Taurus. What is this, Sierra? Good gracious. God almighty, Taurus. Look what come out first. Incomparable. And that's just point blank. That's why this person want to go do what they want to do and control everything, because they think that you're going to be there. Can't nobody compare to you. 
when they left you they realized that their life was empty now they want to now they want a commitment this person don't know what the fuck they want they kept you as a secret love they kept you in the back towards because whatever they was doing they was trying to get done with doing it being a player and all that they want to get all their juices out because they knew well see when you came in this person's life right they probably didn't know who you was at first but then once you start spending more and more time with this person and they start doing research on on this connection and why they feel like this about you and why they can't let you go and why you still here and why do they feel the way they feel so they start noticing like you know what Taurus do this for me Taurus doing that for me Taurus is scratching my back I mean rubbing my feet making sure my dinner good here fucking hands feet toes ten toes down for me loyal my best friend you know what i'm saying i got something in the corner of my mouth towards gonna let me know i got something i book towards gonna get it you know what i'm saying like you just there for this person so they kept you as a secret because they knew you were something worth waiting for so they didn't really tell nobody about you or they didn't really put you around the family or the friends or you know what i'm saying towards because they wanted to keep you for when they done doing what they doing they don't want to put you in a mix like okay so she one of the other bitches that you just gonna fuck over and walk and, and walk off on no they want you but they don't want you to go nowhere they want you to wait until they finish doing whatever they need to do out here in these streets and then keep you because they know that these hoes or these bitches or whatever you want to call them they ain't gonna last long they not gonna last long this shit gonna be over this epiphany telling them that they should be with you and the only reason why they kept you a secret is because they want to keep you to the side while they out here playing and they want you to wait on them incomparable yeah I hope I made sense. <laughs> Incomparable. Look, control again. This person just want to control. They want. They know that don't nobody compare to you, Taurus, and they just want control. They want to control everything. They trying to control this situation. Cause remember, I told you this person just wants control. They don't. They don't want you to leave. They just want to do what they want to do. They want to control you. They want to control everything around them. They want to be able to move around when they want to move around. They don't want nobody telling them they can't do something. Okay? Because they, they want to control their own damn life. They don't want you, nobody. They going to tell you how they feel. Look, they going to call. Because I'm going to tell you, this was a secret. They were living a double life. And whoever they were dealing with, they broke up with this person. This is somebody in their past that they let go. All right, this was too much of a burden. They said enough is enough. I'm tired of this shit. I don't. I can't do it no more because I can't stop thinking about Taurus and all the things I keep thinking about with Taurus, about what Taurus doing for me, and you know the incomparable things Taurus is doing for me. It's like, why would I jeopardize Taurus when Taurus is doing everything for me and this other person ain't probably ain't doing shit for them, you know? They regretting what they did to you because when you left Taurus, they noticed that their life was empty without you. And this the gossip already about some type of commitment. They could have heard this about you. Shit. Yeah. Incomparable control. Yeah, this person still wants control even though there's nobody compared to you. They still want to control whatever. They want look at him holding this woman together. They just want they want to control you. You know? They want control in this situation. They don't want nobody telling them what to do. You know, they want to do what they want to do, even though there's nobody else like you. They still tied up in other situations. With other people. Control. Come on. No, we don't care about no fantasizing. They can't stop their mind from thinking about you. <clears throat> they trying to control the fantasy. They trying to control a situation by fantasizing about you. Control. Because can't nobody fuck like you or nothing. Yeah. 
Y'all can't, you ain't giving out that, they ain't giving that same pum 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 like you to her. Mm -mm. They can't even escape it. They trying to escape it. There's nobody comparable to you. And I feel like this got to do with sex. And this person, you know what? They get straight up paranoid about competition. Yeah, they get paranoid about other people because you must be throwing that thing back on their ass. Fantasizing. Fantasizing. Yeah. act on phase. They act like I don't know, this could be you on phase. On phase. Yeah. They trying to control the situation by trying to escape it. Drinking a lot and fantasizing and acting on phase. But really, this person wants to take it slow with you. Take it slow. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's why they want to take it slow. Because they're dealing with flings and they want to be free. Nah, I mean, this person must be really stuck somewhere, helpless. Like, they can't help their circumstances. They fucked up somewhere. They... You know what I'm saying? They need your help. They're going to call you. They're trying to strategically plot how to do this because they sitting up here stalking you. All right? Look, this keep popping up. I didn't realize how empty my life was until you left. So when you left Taurus, this person really started understanding how empty his goddamn life was because this car keep popping up. And they worried. They worried you might go find you somebody else. They can't move on and this shit is just causing a big ass burden on this person. They can't even think right. Shit. Yeah. They want to take it slow with you because they got these flings and things. That's why they want their freedom. Like, like they know don't nobody compare to you, but they want to control it by trying to escape it with all these fantasies and shit and acting them fast. But slow, but real life, like I told you, Tori, they want to they wanna take it slow because they want their freedom right now. They want to have these flings. They want the freedom to do whatever the fuck they want to do. And they know that in the end, you're going to be there. That's how they feel. Freedom. Yeah, that's why they want to take it slow. That's why they're not trying to commit and all that. But by the time they do all this towards you, you're going to be able to move on. Because it's really, you really getting tired of trying to read this person. Like, do you want to be with me or not? They come in, they want to play house. And you know what I'm saying? I feel like, Taurus, you got a new love here, and it's not hard to make them prove it. You know what I'm saying? Getting this new love is really going to make them prove it. You feel me? So you get somebody, you throw a monkey in that damn, that pile, and that damn, they going to come in there, and they going to try and prove it. Shit. Sure. This person could be in solitude trying to talk to you telepathically, Taurus. I feel like you moved on and you hard to read now. Like, they don't know what the fuck going on with you. Shit, you like a what, what for? Shit, you taking too long. You acting like you don't care. You act like you don't got no feelings. Like, you unfazed by this separation because you want to move slow in this situation because you want flings and things and freedom. All right? Hard to read. I feel like you moved on and I'm like, fuck this shit. They can't figure you out now. Yeah, because they were in denial of their feelings. Shit. Denial. Yeah, they were living because they were living a double life. They was having flings and things and you and all other type of shit. Now they all in their head missing you, though. Mm-hmm. It's like, whatever. Shit. They, don't, they can't read you. They can't talk to you telepathically probably either. Double life. Shit. Whatever. Whoever this is, they gonna, they not gonna, yeah. This was bringing up these differences. They could have been dating people online, strategically plotting how to get or date these people or something like that. 
and they made a decision or you could have made a decision to her that you had enough and now you know you the secret love is who got away now they doing a jacking off you know and not trying to force their way in on you they trying to practice forgiveness because they feel hopeless right now they want another chance and they stuck in their head about you Mm -hmm. They missing you, but they want you to go first. You feel me? You go first. You miss me, right, Tori? Differences. Yeah, this person living a double life, and this was causing friction between this relationship. Shit. This person was hard to read. They were in denial of their feelings, and they were living a double life. Differences. What's the differences between us and this person? They're a player. I tell you, Taurus. Burdens. Heavy burdens on this person. And they act like they don't even know what the fuck happened. This shit is a burden. This could be a burden on you, Taurus. But this person always acting like they don't know what the fuck happened. Can't never own up to nothing. Can't never express how they really feel. Always in denial. Always playing the bang, blame game. And this person is arrogant as hell. Even though they cannot escape you. Or it's no escape of this arrogance right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like they're not going to take this arrogant ass. Flair, what about this flair? Yeah, that's why they want to take it slow and fuck with these flings. Because they want the freedom. Flair, yeah, they try and fight it. Hmm. They can't be trusted. And I feel like this, you probably can't. It's trying to fight it, you know, from dealing with this person. Even though you love them. You just talking to your friends and stuff about it, Taurus. You know, trying to get some shit off your chest. Yeah, because this person continues to put you in love triangles. Damn. Lord, mercy. There could even be a new love involved. Or this person loves you and they asking for friend support because they don't know if you're dealing with somebody else or a new love. And they haunt it. They can't be trusted. <clears throat> you're trying to resist them, trying to fight this person. Because you know they're a player and they can't be trusted. And you you trying to fight that shit off. This fell right on differences. Yeah. Even though there's differences and stuff, this person cannot move on. And I don't feel like you can move on either, Taurus. Fighting it, you trying. Yeah, look. <laughs> you focusing on work. <laughs> See, when, the when this one can't move on popped out, it fell over here on the differences. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between you and this person. They can't move on from you even though they want to be a player. But you over here, you are focusing on leaving this person and working on yourself and fighting it. You're fighting it and you, you're focusing on, on work. You know what I'm saying? Because you know this person can't be trusted. And this person is a player and they cannot move on. This player cannot move on. Yeah, that's why the card fell over here. Tell me more about this player. What's the worst need to know? They want to come talk to you. They on the verge of telling you how they feel. Because they only... They said they only been messing with you, Taurus. But let's see what the bottom of the cards say. Oh, this was divinely guided. Oh, this is a true love. This person desperate to talk to your ass. But you feel like, like, it's not for you no more. Like, man, get the fuck on. Look, you gonna shut down on this one. Taurus, and they, look. And regret. They feel like you leaving their ass. Like you gone. And they feel helpless. <laughs> they want to send you a message or they could have sent a message. It probably took them a long time to send the bitch. <laughs> they over there jacking off again. Because <laughs> that's all they want is you. Did they say I love you behind there? Aww. I choose you. I love you. <laughs> but. Yeah. 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 Like, what? What's this verse? Verse to tell towards what? Nah, nah, this is this the catching part right here. Because you've been fighting it off, you know, focusing on work. And they've been, you know, being a player. And they say still can't move on. But they on the verge of, verge of telling Taurus what? Because Taurus don't trust this motherfucker. What? What they want? Verge of what? Telling you that they jealous. They jealous. <laughs> I get jealous when I think of anyone having you or stealing you away. Can I get one last chance? I'm worried. <laughs> oh, my God. Jealousy. 
not the right time. Jealousy. Yeah. I feel like Spirit is saying it's not the right time to get into any competition. They don't feel like it's it's not the right time. Like they on the verge to tell you that they get jealous. And I feel like Spirit is saying it's not the right time to put this person in competition. But like don't force anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, this player on the verge of telling you, I get jealous when I think of anyone else having you and stealing you away, right? And I feel like it's saying it's not the right time for you to be focusing on competition and don't force nothing. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 date somebody right now. Don't 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 force this competition right now. It's not right the right time. This person's too desperate. Okay. Oh, you're gonna look desperate. Like you trying to win. Like like you can do better or get better. Yeah, so Spirit said you're gonna look desperate or this person looks desperate trying to, you know, win better and do better. Yeah, so yeah, this person get jealous when there's other competition and spirit telling you like you ain't gotta do nothing right now because this person is 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 desperate, you know, desperate to win. But all in all, they gonna guide this person right back to you because it's your true love. You forever change this person in secret. This person was undecided. They they had sleepless nights, you know. They didn't know what they wanted to do in their life. And now they want to reconcile with you, Taurus. If they ain't calling, they reconciling. Shit. They worried. They feel like you leaving. <laughs> Damn, where true love come from? They can't move on. They feel like you they true love. These two is on top of each other. Mmm. Okay, so um, tell me about incomparable here. Look at this. <laughs> One last chance. Why? Why they want to come me back up with Taurus? They want to apologize, Taurus. <clears throat> they feel like you erased their ass. They, no, they want to erase the fact of you even trying to put them in a friend zone, bitch. They don't want you being they fine. Uh, erase all that friendship shit. We ain't friends. We gonna be lovers. And they feel all uh, sad. I ain't mean to do it. I I love you, Taurus. I ain't mean to do it. After you done got the fuck away. Because they want to over here partying with their friends, you know. Trying not to be at home alone and still want one last chance with you. Shit. This person don't know what the fuck they want for real. They so undecided. But they do want to reconcile. Shit. Incomparable. Reconcile. And apology is in the front. Okay. Move on. What is this move on, Taurus? This is Taurus. Because of the gossip. Moved on. Remember what I was telling you, Taurus? How they feel like they can just do whatever they want to do and then you just, you going to still be there. You know? I feel like you could have heard some gossip that this person really ain't been dating nobody like that. They've been working on themselves. Practice forgiveness. Friend support, stalking. Let's talk about this double life. Talk to my divine timer. Double life. Love triangle. I've been seeing someone else. Look, they've been moving in silent towards, but I feel like they finally breaking up with this person. This is why they've been quiet towards you. If you haven't been hearing from your person towards, they going through a breakup. And look, they learning lessons about dealing with new love or something. 
They had a breaking point now, but when they come back, they're going to act like they don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah, just play the waiting game, Taurus. Just play the waiting game, because they're going to call watch. They're going to call you. Trust the plan, because they pretending like they happy, but they miserable than a the motherfucker. They're going to call you, watch. They definitely going to call. They've been making silent moves since they've been through this divorce. Tell me about this breakup, this divorce. They was in that, that's why they was in denial of their feelings because they was living this double life and you was like fuck it I'll move on because I don't know what's going on with this person and they wasn't showing you their true feelings that's because they were living a double life tell me about this divorce what's going on here with Taurus person in this divorce they want you to make them prove that, that. This person that they were divorcing was trying to make them prove that they were worth waiting for. But I feel like they told them that they was miserable. They was pretending to be happy in this situation, but they was miserable. You know, this person could continue to push this person buttons. You know what I'm saying? So, what else? Pretending. They were trying to make, yeah. They See, didn't I tell you? They were pretending in this commitment. They were not happy. They were miserable. They were trying to make they were trying to make them prove that they gave a fuck about them and that they were somebody that they should be waiting for. And they was like, bitch, I'm miserable in this commitment. And they was trusting their plan of being like, what the fuck do you want from me? <laughs> now they had a breaking point with this whole situation. They want to call you. But like Spirit say. Play the waiting game because this person is overthinking, baby. They ain't going nowhere. They stalking you and eliminating other shit that's getting in the goddamn way. Like this ex over here that they was make, trying to make prove that they were waiting for, but they was miserable. Yeah, this wife was trying to make them prove that they love them. You do this for me. You got to do that. and You got to lick my bottom of my foot. You know, like all type of dumb shit. Tell me about commitment. <clears throat> Didn't I tell you? They helpless in this situation. They not, no, they trying to focus on themselves. I feel like they want to talk to you. Okay? And, and and I feel like you focusing on yourself, like, you could be, like, wanting to send this person a message to us or something because they fucked up over here. They trapped in this situation. They don't even know how to get out of it. And they miserable as fuck. They feel helpless as hell. Okay, and they want to send you a message because I feel like you've been quiet. But they feel like, you know, since you've been quiet and haven't been sending any messages, they feel like you let them go and this shit is a burden. They can't even stop thinking about your ass. Shit. They choose you to have a family with. Oh, mercy. What's going on over here with this double life and this love triangle? What we need to know here for tour spirit. Love triangle. And I tell you, they dating somebody. Play the waiting game. It's drama. Overthinking at a breaking point. Tell me more about this uh, double life with this love triangle and dating. Yeah, this person has not changed. I feel like spirit is saying... This person is dating somebody else and they have not changed. I feel like Spirit is telling you to shut down from this person and trust your intuition. Or, this person was in a third party love triangle dating someone that have not changed. So, they shut down on this person and starting to trust their intuition. What's this love triangle with this shutdown have to do with Taurus person and the third party? Waiting guy. Yeah, I think this you. I think this you that shut down. I don't know what the hell that is. <clears throat> this person. Yeah. So this person put you in a third party. They were 
dating other women and they have not changed and you shut down and trusted your intuition and now you playing a waiting game they self pleasure and they self to your pictures whatever and they just waiting on you and look hit this card go again after i done shuffled this deck a thousand times this person at a breaking point okay they can't stop thinking taurus they going crazy in their head it's causing so much drama because they in so much damn regret. So what you going to do with this person? Look, they at home, in the room. What that back of that car say? These cars keep showing two cars at a time. This person is at home missing you. Look, this motherfucker is crying towards. You feel like this motherfucker is not for you. Like, bro, sis, cuz, auntie, uncle, what's up? <laughs> but this is your choice, you know? This is your choice to feel like if this person is not for you or not. They stuck in their head, Taurus. Shit. They choose you. They want a family and love. <laughs> they, what, the, what the fuck they had? Some new water where they went somewhere and got some clean water? Because that other water they was drinking was had karmic and, um, juice flowing all through it. Hmm. Okay, so this is just a quick sum sum tours because god damn it, this person is going crazy. This person is not realizing that they are in love with you. Reconciliation and apologies is on the way. I told you why they want to be free because they want to go have fun but still have you, you know, because they don't ever want you to go nowhere. So they feel like you're going to be there. Um, what's uh, Life Jenny song must be nice. Understand you don't have to be alone. We'll always walk the walk. There is someone who understands that a thug has feelings too. Someone who loves you. You never had to grow some shit. But yeah, you listen to that song. It, it talk about that, you know. Even when your hustling days are gone, she'll be by your side still holding on. And when those gold digging women disappear, she'll still be here. Life Jennings Life. That that's this song. That's this reading right here. They don't want you to go nowhere. Even when the twenties stop spinning and the women start women. Women. I don't know. <laughs> it's something about, you know, after everything, that one person is gonna still be there because that's that person that she showed you that unconditional love, you know? And you show this person unconditional love and they like towards going where? <laughs> So I think one no motherfucking wear. <laughs> What's the outcome of this situation, spirit? Oh Lord. Yeah, well, somebody went to us. They thought they was gonna get a rebound, or they think that you with a rebound, and they haunted by this shit. And it is like they cannot escape you out of their fucking head. No escape. <sighs> yeah, they feel like let them go. And trust your intuition. Because they missing you. Okay. Shut down and play the waiting game. Spirit keeps saying this shit. Just shut down. Fuck it. They ain't gonna leave you. <laughs> they not leaving, Tor. They not going nowhere. I don't give a fuck. No limits. Okay, this person is not going to stop. They're not going to stop fucking with you. They're not going to stop doing what they want to do. They want control with you and everything in their life. They don't give a fuck. And this person is always high. And they have not learned to love themselves. Okay? So, they got a lot of growing up to do. Trust me. <laughs> All right, Taurus. Anything else for Taurus? Spirit say, get you a rebound. Because this person is going to be haunted by, your, by you, Taurus. And, and they ain't no an escape. Mm -hmm. Let them go and trust your intuition. Because they going to miss you. And then what else they going to do in the end, spirit? Be arrogant. And stalk you and act slow. See what I'm talking about? Arrogant, stalking, and clueless. They still going to be doing what the fuck they want to do. And then they going to do it in silence. They over here watching you. 
and acting like they ain't doing nothing. Yes, you is. Don't lose hope. The decisions they making is making them angry because they know that this is a divine union. Like, they don't want you to lose hope in, in this situation because of their decisions that they keep making. And it's making them angry because they keep going the wrong way because they know that they're supposed to be with you. This person needs healing and they keep trying to talk to you telepathically. They always trying to see if the grass is greener somewhere else. <clears throat> and try and trust the plan there. But enough is enough. It's like... It's like you got away. Like, it's nothing there. Like, they think you leaving. They think you're going to leave them, Taurus. So, yeah, Taurus, that's what I have for you. Until next time, peace, Taurus.